You've been asked to watch this video to explain and help with the consent of the COVID-19 vaccination. In this video, we'll cover the reasons why you should and maybe not have the vaccination, including further information and details of further advice. For specific information relating to your individual health issues, please contact the team or person administering the vaccination to you in your local area. Information in this video is correct at the time of publishing. However, updates may occur and for that reason it is important to check the links below which will contain further information that you may need to check before you have your vaccination. Key information. The COVID-19 vaccination will reduce the chance of you suffering with COVID-19 infection. Like all medicines, no vaccine is completely effective and it may take several weeks for your body to build up the complete protection following the vaccination course. Some people may still get the COVID-19 infection following vaccination, but this should lessen the severity of the illness that you have. The vaccine does not contain COVID-19 infection. However, two doses will reduce the chances of you becoming seriously ill. We do not know how long the vaccine offers protection and information on this will be shared when it becomes available. Even after completing the COVID-19 vaccination course, you will still need to follow national and local guidance regarding COVID-19 infection. This includes in your workplace, such as guidance like using personal protective equipment, screening programs, and particularly if you were to develop a new cough, new loss of sense of smell or taste, or new temperatures, and requiring testing. Like all medicines, vaccines may cause side effects. These are often mild and short term, not everybody gets them, but some may be expected. We will cover these in more detail later on. There are no annual products in the COVID vaccination and so has been deemed suitable by the British Islamic Medical Association and further details on that can be found right here. If you are pregnant, planning pregnancy or breastfeeding is important to check the safety information as to whether or not you may have the vaccination. Those details are available right here. However, the general advice is that you should not become pregnant up to two months after completing the course of the vaccination. Who should have the vaccination? While it is hoped that the vaccination will be available to the entire public, the priority is to vaccinate those in the high risk groups. These priority groups are listed on this website right here and that list is created by Public Health England and NHS England who may not have vaccination. At the time of recording this video there are some cohorts of people who will not be able to have the vaccination. Here is a list of the following. Those people under the age of 16, those people not in the priority vaccination groups, those with severe allergic reactions that resulted in either anaphylaxis or required them to carry EpiPens on a regular basis may not be able to have the vaccination. Those people that are allergic to the ingredients of the COVID vaccination and a list of those is below. Those people who have had a significant allergic reaction to the first dose of the vaccination, such as having facial swelling, difficulty breathing and very high temperature. However, those people having a very mild fever or an upper respiratory tract infection like the common cold should still be able to have the second dose. If you are in this category, you may need to consult with your local team in terms of advice as to whether or not to have the second vaccination. Those people with a weakened immune system, such as those suffering with HIV or on cancer treatments, or if you are taking medications that either affect your immune system or affect your bleeding risks. Again, please consult your local vaccinating team for further advice if you are in these categories. The following advice is relevant to the COVID mRNA BNT162B2 vaccination, or as we are now going to call it, the Pfizer vaccination. Given the rapid changing nature of the COVID-19 vaccinations and the advice that we have, please make sure you check with the team that are vaccinating you for any further updates. The Pfizer vaccination has been approved by the MRHA and is estimated to be 95% effective at protecting you against COVID infection. The Pfizer vaccination will need to be drawn up at site and you'll be given 0.3 mils of solution into your upper arm, similar to most other vaccinations that you may have had in the past. You will need to have a second vaccination 21 days after your first dose to be fully protected. And it may take up to seven days following that second dose for you to be fully protected. 
Following your vaccination, you may be requested to wait for at least 15 minutes or longer depending on your individual health issues. There may be further additional requirements you may have to follow, however do discuss this with the vaccinating team if you have any questions. Side effects of the Pfizer vaccination. Most side effects are mild and moderate and will go away after several days of appearing. If side effects such as pain or fever are troublesome, these can be treated with simple medications like paracetamol available over the counter. Side effects may occur with the following frequency. Very common side effects will occur in more than one in 10 people that have the vaccination. These include pain at the site of injection, headaches, chills, joint pain, tiredness, and fever. Common side effects occur in one in 10 people that have the vaccination. These include swelling and or redness at the site of injection and nausea. Uncommon side effects occur in one in 100 people having the vaccination and these include enlarged lymph nodes and feeling unwell. Reporting of side effects is very important and you should be advised of how to do this at the time that you have the vaccination. This may include discussing it with either your doctor, your nurse or your local pharmacist. If you get side effects not listed in this video, then you may report these using the yellow card format with the MRHA website. The link to that is available here. Additionally, you may also download the apps to the Google Play or Amazon App Store and use those. By reporting these side effects, you help to provide more information about the safety of this vaccine. For more specific information about the safety and use of this vaccination for yourself individually, please contact the local team that will be vaccinating you and they may signpost you to further details or resources for information. If you'd like to learn more about the other vaccines available, please have a look at the available videos right here.